In traditional coronary artery bypass surgery, the heart is stopped with a heart-lung machine used to circulate and oxygenate the blood. Now, off-pump surgery is being done without stopping the heart. As Dr. Carlos Blanche of St. Jude Medical Center in Fullerton tells us, patients experience faster recovery by the use of this procedure. The traditional way of um, doing uh, bypass surgery has been on pump, meaning on cardiopulmonary bypass, uh, which is an extracorporeal circulation. You see artificial heart-lung machine. Uh, the the off-pump surgery implies that you don't use that, so you use a technique in which you bypass uh, the heart um, while the heart is beating. It's more technically demanding, it's more challenging, uh, and the results are very good. The coronary arteries run on top of the heart, on the surface of the heart. So what we do is we expose those particular arteries and we bypass them right beyond the obstruction. So we don't enter the heart itself, not like doing an aortic valve or a mitral valve, but we work on the surface of the heart. And by doing that, so we construct the bypass uh, uh, conduits. Uh, basically, to define the anatomy, you need a coronary angiogram, which is a procedure where they insert a catheter through the groin into the heart, they inject some dye, and they shoot the dye, and by doing so, you see the anatomy of the coronary arteries, and you see where the blockages are, how many blockages, the location, and the size, and so on. When the patient asks me, um, can you do my operation off pump? And I say, most likely, uh, based on anatomy, number of grafts, location of the graft, size of the arteries, I can give a patient a very good idea whether or not I'll accomplish that off pump or on pump. But the final decision belongs in surgery because there are sometimes unpredictable factors. For example, there's a lot of scar tissue. It would be very difficult to do it off pump. So it, it's a matter of judgment, uh, a judgment that is uh, really made in the operating room. The recovery it depends on the patient's condition prior to surgery. Depends on the age, depends on uh, if they have any other associated illnesses, uh, or if the patient was in heart failure or not. If the patient is very healthy before surgery, the recovery is very short. It may take only a few days, a week or two at the most. But if the patient has had a previous stroke, uh, or the patient is on dialysis, or the patient has uh, respiratory problems, you anticipate the recovery is going to be long. The success rate for this procedure depends, again, of many factors. Uh, there is always a risk associated with uh, open heart surgery. The risk can be as low as 1% or less, meaning that the uh, chance of success are 99% or higher. On the other hand, there are some patients whose risk is very high, say, for example, 15 20%. So the success is you know, 80 85%. And I've seen many very high risk patients, many elderly patients, patients over the age of 85, even 90 years so, old, who had uh, off-pump surgery, and they go back to their own families, to their own environment, having a successful and productive life.